So yeah, I'm gonna show you a video of this narcissistic man uh, threatening to set his girlfriend up if she holds him accountable. Stay tuned, we're gonna react to it. Pregnant. I, I, so if I get you locked up, you about to get me who is up. pregnant, beat up. I'm gonna get you beat up if I get locked up. That's what you said? Yes, I'm dead serious. Uh, I'm gonna get you beat up if I get locked up. I'm not playing. You not about Man, Lee, I feel like there's more to the story, man. Can't just keep jumping to the conclusions, y'all. There's more to the story. Check this out. Y'all, this is all him admitting to it on camera. And he knows the phone is in his face. So, hey. Beat up while I'm pregnant. I'm going to get beat up while I'm pregnant. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, I want you to say it again, though. I do got it, but I'm going to say it again while you're going down the steps. You say I'm going to get beat up? I, if I get arrested for something I'm not doing? You did do it, though. It's not something you didn't do. It's something you did. You just admitted to choking me and grabbing me in the doorway, did you not? So this did is you not? That's not what you did. You grabbed me by my neck. 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 Okay, so you want to say that? Okay, so when you uh, choked me three times when your mom was in here, that's something you did. Okay, so that. Okay, so I'm going to get beat up for that. That's something you did. That's something you did. No, that's something you did. No, that's something you did, though. So you're going to get me beat up because of that. You get Before we get deep into the breakdown, y'all, y'all see the, the those are punch marks in the door. I, I'm, I, I'm not saying he did it, but even the downstairs door, that look like a it looked like he took off running from up here or somebody, not him, somebody took off running from up here and jumped and drop kicked that. Damn. But you see that right there, y'all. He admitted to putting his hands around her throat. Now, all this is alleged. But he admitted to putting his hands around in front of his mama. In front of his damn mama. She said, you choked me three times in front of my mama. So oh, yeah, I did that. But if I go to jail, I'm going to get you beat up. What? Narcissistic people like that, y'all, hate being held accountable for their actions. They, and they know the actions. They, he admitted the actions. The actions are clear and present. He admitted those actions and said, hey, if you hold me accountable, you're going to you're going to get beat up. If I get held accountable for my actions, you're going to get beat up. And then you can kind of tell the insecurity start bubbling to the surface because he said, oh, oh, you like you like big you like you you like big dudes. So I'm, I'm treating you like a big dude. I'm giving you what the big dudes give you. Those are insecurities because he kind of you know he kind of he, he, he a little on, he a little on the thinner side. So he's trying to make her feel uh, I'm, I can be big too. I can be big towards a woman. And y'all. People like this, and I'll, I'll, I'll give this statistic out. If they put their hands around your throat and they squeeze, it is not consensual. They are over 700% more likely to take you out of here, to send you to meet your maker early. You know, everybody everybody want to meet their maker sooner or later, but like most people prefer the later. You see what I'm saying? And she's pregnant and he's doing all of this stuff while she's pregnant. Y'all, that is kind of wild. It's wild. I'm just telling you. Her story gets deeper on her page and whatnot, y'all. This is her page right here. Um, and like there's her Instagram and stuff right there as well, y'all. She's in, in Maryland. But she says she's called the police on him a, a bunch of times. He just disappears. He escapes and runs off before the police get there. And then he comes back later on. You know, he just comes back and he pops in the house. I guess he's on the lease or something like that. He has a key. Or he, he might be kicking the door open the way it look in there. You know what I mean? The way the punch marks and stuff like that. And I tell this to people as well. If they hit the wall, they hit the door, if they throw stuff in your direction, they want to do it to you. But he, apparently, allegedly, he's already he's already done it to her. Like, he's already done it. He said he did it in front of his mama. And narcissistic people's mamas, hey, sometimes they end up being the biggest enablers of their behavior. Oh, my baby didn't do nothing. He just got angry. He, he normally ain't like that. He just, you know, my baby ain't. My baby, my baby. Y'all, I'm sad to say, but this encounter right here, it actually is worse. He comes, apparently, this, this might not be the same day, but he comes back, takes the phone because he knows he was she was getting recorded and whatnot, and tries to break the phone, allegedly. Y'all, I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, but you notice in the last video, he said, get the show me the ring camera. It's not like he takes the cameras. He knows he's being recorded. He takes the cameras and destroys them or something like that. Destroys evidence, allegedly, because he knows it's on him. He knows it's incriminating because he knows what he's doing. That's just a snippet of what he be doing, y'all. This, this apparently, because at the end of that video, it, it runs on a little long. But 
he runs up on her and tries to kick her out the kick her out the apartment. He's like, get out of here, get out of here right now. And she just stops recording. But she says, she says, narcissistic and abusive behavior. Man will leave for hours, even days, and come back on the same time, same type of timing. As soon as I record, he always takes all three of my phones. So he, she, like y'all, he knows what he's doing is wrong. He knows that these behaviors are unacceptable. He knows that these behaviors can get him locked up. So he wants to delete all evidence. Now it's all over TikTok and stuff like that. So he's probably going to get rage out, rage out when he sees that her videos are getting millions of views and whatnot. But there's also some other videos on our page right there, y'all. And like he's it it, it it's it's it really is a big huge uh, T R I G G E R uh, warning on her page when you go on there and check it out because it's it's it shows you how deep and dark these relationships can get especially when ki there's kids involved and whatnot. And this is a video of her standing outside the, uh, I think the courthouse or whatever. She went down and got tried to get a restraining order. She says, for everyone that says I'm smiling or laughing, I'm always smiling or laughing person. No matter what happens or happened to me, you cannot wipe my smile off my face. God got me forever and always. Some people smile through trauma, y'all. Smiling and laughing is a trauma response that some people have when they're in abusive situations, like they're in toxic relationship dynamics, and they laugh, you know what I mean? But I would just say this, y'all. Their restraining orders are just a piece of paper and they don't it, it, it doesn't build a force field around your apartment or around your house toxic abusive people if they want to come find you they will come find you so you know whatever you live at make sure you protect yourself or arm yourself and things like that and people like this y'all let's be realistic people like this might claim to love you but they don't actually love you love is an action love is a verb it takes it takes work to show people that you love them you know, and coming back being abusive and, you know, he, he probably feels like he has this type of control and authority because she's about to have a baby bomb and he's in the way his mind is working. He's like, oh, yeah, she got a baby bomb me, so she can't leave me alone. Again, y'all, this is a profile right here. You can check it out. Um, follow her. Like all her videos are her. She's telling her whole story on her, y'all. And like, you know.